More than two million vote by mail ballots have already been cast in Florida and thousands are getting a second look because voters either mismarked their ballots or wasted their votes. Mike Vazelinda explains how. Canvassing boards in every county are saving thousands of voters from their own mistakes. Last one, it didn't go through the machine because they, they put their I voted ballot or sticker on their ballot. Lesson number one, don't vote for more than one candidate in a race. Two people for, for this presidential. Three people for this presidential. In this case, Joe Biden lost two votes. Trump won. What's clear after watching a canvassing board is that its members go out of their way to make sure the intent of the voter is understood. Lesson two, don't use red ink. That's basically invisible ink. So we're very clear in seeing how the voter intended to vote and we're able to remark it for them. Lesson three, try to be as clear as possible. On this ballot, the voter tried to erase their first choice. Looking at it closer, I think I would call it as a no vote. Okay. No, they as, changed as their mind. On this ballot, Joe Biden's name was bubbled in, but then there was a write-in. And then there's written in Will Ferrell, Will no Ferrell. Vote. The board voted to count the Biden vote. So just be very solid. Uh, those light little uh, ballpoint pen marks are hard to read. And the final lesson, if you plan to vote by mail, don't wait. I would not mail it to us any later than October 27th, but I would advise you send it to us if you're going through the mail sooner than that. And if you still do vote by mail, you can check online to see if your vote has been counted, and if not, fix any problems. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, Channel 4, the local station. Under Florida law, canvassing boards include the local supervisor of elections, a county judge, and the chair of the county commission. Substitutions are allowed if one of the officers is unavailable or if a candidate is on the ballot.